Hello, it's Dom Michelle from Boho Tarot, and welcome to the final video in my deck collection series. Today we'll be taking a look at the decks that I really wanted to love, but just didn't. So these are the decks that for whatever reason, I haven't been able to work with, to connect with, or honestly, that I was disappointed by. It's important to note that this is not a deck bashing video. All of the decks featured here are decks that I truly wanted to work with, but it just didn't work out for various reasons. There are a total of eight decks featured in this video, and you'll find a complete list in the description box below. So let's take a peek at the tarot decks that I really wanted to love, but just didn't. So the first deck I wanna talk about is the Akashic Tarot. Um, this was a deck that I was actually really excited to get a hold of. It's like, oh my goodness, it's an Akashic Tarot. I'm super excited about that. The truth be told, I hadn't seen pictures of this deck, or many pictures. And if I had researched it a little bit more, I would have discovered that this wasn't going to be a deck for me. This deck for me was just, I have to say it was a bit of a disappointment. And I have mentioned this, I think in pretty previous videos, um, I am a designer by trade. So sometimes what I find really nitpicky about a deck or what I find really um, distracting about a deck won't bother other people. So I do want to throw that disclaimer out there that I have a little bit more of a critical eye when it comes to artwork. So this deck was one that I like couldn't wait for it to get in. Um, I did some readings with it and at first I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. And then the more I worked with this deck, um, the, the harder time I had with it. Um, so this deck, I just wanted to show you, these are the cards that I actually thought were okay. Like the artwork on them really, you know, was all right. So for me, this deck, this is really just, it's, it's an issue of the artwork. These are the cards that I didn't like, didn't resonate with, had a really hard time working with the images. And these are the ones that I was like, okay, I can, I can deal with these ones. So that to me, when this happens, this means this is not a deck for me. Um, now the guidebook is actually a pretty good little guidebook. I like the guidebook better than the deck. So anyway, um, again, not deck bashing, but this it's, it's really, it's the artwork. It's the Photoshop work in this deck that just throws me. Um, it's just, I don't even know if it'll pick up on camera. It actually looks good on camera, but when you get it close up and if you have an, an artist, I like I do, it's just, you can see where it's been Photoshopped and collaged together. This one is a prime example of that. The coloring and the light is all off. So, you know, some of them, they're, you know, they're pretty. And if that kind of thing doesn't bother you, then that's great. This is going to be a great deck for you. Um, I did enjoy working with it, and I really wanted to work with it. Um, but I just couldn't get past the images. I will show you a couple of the ones that I like. I do think the Akashic Field is really pretty. Um, you can see I got stickies for things I'm working on. Um, the Oracle of Delphi was a really pretty one. Um, Sorry, all my stickies. I should have taken these off beforehand. Um, Queen of Scrolls. I think that this is the most beautiful card in the deck. Um, it's probably why it's the one that's on the box and on the cover of the book. It's fairly well done in terms of the photoshopping. really think this deck reads a lot better as an oracle. As a tarot, I was a little bit disappointed with it, but I do really like the guidebook. So, so another deck I really wanted to love but didn't is the Good Tarot. The artwork is overall really beautiful, but there are a couple of cards that have really given me pause and have really detracted me from working with this deck. I think the fool is is pretty. Um, I'm this is one the magician. Like I just cannot get past this, the Santa Claus. That is what I think every time I see that. Um, I'm not fond of this high priestess. I just. I don't know. I don't feel like she looks very high priestessy to me. The Hierophant I think is really beautiful, but to me this looks more like the high priestess. So love is beautiful. That's another thing about this deck, and we'll I'll get to that here in a minute, is that some of the majors have been renamed. Um, here we have with the devil, we have renamed as temptation. Um, you know, yeah, I definitely get that that sort of sense from the devil, but that's not really how I read the devil. I read the devil as the shadow self. So to just narrow it down to temptation, which to me is more of a keyword than a title, 
and that's one of my nitpicky things about decks. I don't like when titles are used, when keywords are used as title. So then we get into um, the uh, suits, and one of my, I love the suits, I really do, but they're a little too washed out for me in terms of the imagery. They are beautiful cards, but I don't, there's a few of, of the miners in here that don't resonate with me in the way that I see um, the miners. Beautiful Queen of Earth, love her. Like, I think this is beautiful, the Six of Water, but some of these cards just really don't resonate with how I see the suit. I love this Ten of Water with the Buddha, it's great. But it is a beautiful deck. And you know, the guidebook is really nice. So if that's the kind of deck you're looking for, this might be a great one for you. Um, I'm going to repurpose it into something else that works a little bit better for me. Okay, so moving on, we have the Silver Era Tarot. And this was a deck that I actually followed. The artist, I followed her website like a long time ago <laughs> while this deck was being created. It might have been out in an indie version. I really, really can't remember. And I thought I only saw the images without, like, there were no titles or anything. I just saw the images, and they were much larger, and that, I thought they were beautiful. Um, this deck, to me, this is a Schiffer deck, and this deck, to me, was such a disappointment in terms of, um, it is so stiff. Like, this cardstock is ridiculous. I can't even use it. I can't even shuffle it. The photos, it's too small. You don't, you lose all the detail in the photos. And that, it's just sad to say, some of them are like, I don't know, some of them are too dark. It's too dark. You can't see what's going on. I don't know if that was intentional or not, or if it's just bad printing. Um, but I just think it's so cool the way it's put together. Um, but it's like, and the backs are pretty, it's just, it's so thick, it's unusable. So that's the Silver Arrow Tarot deck I really wanted to love but didn't. I do love the images, I just, I don't love the physical deck. And that to me, such a shame. Okay, now we're getting into my last four decks for wanted to love but didn't. And I really hope that I don't get kicked out of the tarot community for these four. Because I know that these, these next four are decks that, um, are absolute favorites for a lot of people. And they are all gorgeous decks, they just don't work for me. Um, the Shadowscapes Tarot. This is another deck that I really did, I tried to work with. Like, I, I journaled about it. I went through the guidebook. That was not my problem with this deck. My problem with this deck is, I don't know, it's because I'm, like, getting old and it's hard for me to see. But these cards are too small for the amount of detail in this artwork. And I know that, like, I'm not the only one to say that. It's an absolute gorgeous deck. It's like such a shame that it's not bigger. And I'd never say that about a deck. I'm always like, oh, it's too big. Make it smaller, make it smaller. But in this case, like it needs to be bigger. You just, you can't even see all the detail that's going on in these cards. And like, it hurts my eyes trying to, trying to read this deck. And I'm not saying I don't love it. I do absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Like, look at this Harrowfront. He's stunning. I love him. But there's so much detail in there I can't see that I feel like it's just, it's kind of, again, it's a shame. For right now, it's just, I have other decks that um, I want to work with more. So that's really where I am with the Shadowscapes Tarot. So next we have the Ostara Tarot, which is a deck that I was really excited about. So like everybody, I followed all of the um, creation of it online. Um, the card backs are beautiful. This is the mass market edition. I believe there is an was an indie edition as well. And the images are really beautiful. I really like the artwork. Um, so I was a bit I was a bit surprised when I had um, a really hard time connecting with this deck because the artwork is fabulous. And like it's just so cute. Like look how cute that is. But I cannot read with this deck. I'm not even sure what it is about it. It just, it, it doesn't resonate with me as much as I think the artwork is beautiful. It just, yeah, it just, 
It doesn't really work for me. Like, look how pretty she is. She's beautiful. However, it did for my daughter and she absolutely loves this deck and she's taken it and claimed it as her own. So I'm really excited. It's still in our household. So beautiful, beautiful deck. It just, just, it was, just was one that I just haven't been able to connect with. So that is the Ostara Tarot. Okay, so the next deck on my list is the Fountain Tarot. The artwork is stunning, and when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, how beautiful. Like, look at this artwork. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I so want to love it. Every time I've done a reading with this deck, it, like, gives me the cold shoulder. Like, I don't know if it doesn't like me or what, but um, I just... I've heard a lot of people say this deck is really neutral, and I could definitely see that. And it would be a really great neutral deck, but for me, like, I just, I got nothing when I read with this deck. So this is one of the decks that I really wanted to love it. The images are gorgeous. I do love the artwork. It's absolutely beautiful. But I just, I, I just have no luck reading with it. Like I said, it gives me the cold shoulder. We, we don't talk. We don't communicate. So... Anyway, that's been my experience with the Fountain Tarot. So the last deck I want to talk about is, I'm not going to be any surprise to anybody who's watched some of my um, videos, is the Wild Unknown. Um, this is a deck that I knew, I'm not going to go into the whole story because I talked about it in my foundational videos, but I knew that I didn't really like the images. I still don't, to be perfectly honest with you. It's nothing against the artwork. The artwork is... is um, you know, it's nice. It's just, I wouldn't say it's not my style because I actually have a couple of decks that are sort of have the same kind of, you know, the same kind of style to it, but it's just, I don't know. It doesn't really, it doesn't do anything for me. And I knew that before I bought it, but I bought it like I, again, I talked about that in my foundational video. I bought it because everybody else loved it, and I really, really wanted to, but I didn't, and I still don't, and I knew I wasn't going to. Um, you know, again, this is another deck that I thought, well, maybe I should modify it. Maybe, you know, that would help me connect with it. I have done multiple readings with it. It just, it's just not for me, but I really, really did want to love it because everybody else did, and I felt like, oh, I'm so missing out that I don't love this deck. But you know what? This deck, like I said in my foundational video, it's taught me that not every deck is for me, and that's okay. I don't need to love them all, and it's a good thing that I don't. But this is a deck that I really did want to love when I purchased it. I knew I probably wasn't going to purchase it anyway, and yeah, here it sits. And so there we go. Another deck that I wanted to love but didn't. Thank you so much for checking out my collection of decks that did not work out for me. I would love to hear about the decks that you really wanted to connect with but couldn't or your thoughts on the ones I have shown here, so feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you again for watching and I hope you will join me again soon for more creative tarot for an inspired life.